and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today and I'm so excited to be bringing you a truly unique island tour here today. Today we are on the island of Mia Canyon which was created by Mia aka acnh.mialand over on Instagram and all of her socials are linked down below. I highly recommend that you go and check her out. I feel like her content is just so unique and so so inspiring and I've been watching her progress on Instagram on this island and just been seriously in awe but you can probably tell based on the landscapes that you can start to see behind me that we are going to be touring a desert island um, this island was really inspired by her own personal trips to utah arizona and nevada i've been seeing this desert theme more and more lately and i just think it's so incredible i'm not sure if i personally would be able to pull it off but i am just in awe of people who can so this is mia's map we have mia herself and then her villagers are Tad, Chev, Blair, Sylvana, Molly, Fauna, Eric, Poppy, Winnie, and Dobie. Really, really cute villagers. And you can see that in order to achieve this desert kind of style, there is going to be a ton of in-game pathing placed everywhere to kind of cover up the grass. But I can see that there are some grassy areas as well. So I'm really excited to see that. I also have the custom map that was created for this island pulled up as well. So I will be referring to some areas throughout, but wow, this is incredible this entrance so so cool i love the way that she's kind of so she's laid down the light dirt in game path and then it looks like this is a lighter color custom design that she's placed over top that just kind of gives it a little bit of detail and i did actually pick up already two presents uh, but it looks like we have chic mum crown awesome i love it I absolutely love the way that she's incorporated the purple flowers throughout this island. Just that subtle pop of color is so, so beautiful. But Resident Services is off to the right here. This is just amazing. She's managed to make this landscape so convincing. Look at all of these termite mounds. Holy cow. Absolutely amazing. This is so crazy, but she has her resident services as her visitor center on her map, which is super cool. It is, of course, a visitor center um, taken literally, but this is just amazing. I love the way that she's dropped the little items throughout. We have some bug models. So this over here, I think is, so this might be the desert bloom over here in this area. But we have Sylvana's house over here. This is incredible. Look at Molly running around. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. I like the way that she's dropped little purple flowers as well. And then we have a purple wreath on Sylvana's door. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this kind of decorating is extremely challenging because not every tile is filled up and it's kind of hard to make things look full. Um, and she has just achieved that so effortlessly. It's just beautiful. I love this custom design that she's used on the beach here. That's really awesome. Then we have this little place to lay out here. I love the cheetah print. That's something I haven't seen in a long time. We have a little um, sparkling cider to drink there as well. And I, I really like the way that she has placed these um, candles on top of the little stools. We have the wood stool and the stone stool. It just looks so good on the beach. And I bet it looks amazing at night as well. But we just have another little sitting area here on the beach. I love the wild log bench here. And this landscape behind with the wind turbines is seriously incredible. Absolutely incredible. I feel like I keep breaking the flowers as I run by. I'm so glad that this is a dream. Um, I'm being rude, but we have Tad's house over here and Tad is a jack villager. This is so perfect for him. I love this custom design here. That is so cute. And then we have a little foosball table over here and a basketball court on the beach, which is super cute. I absolutely love the way that she's used Stonehenge here. This is a very, very unique use of that item. I feel hi Molly again. And this area over here is labeled on her map as the ranch. So we have this gorgeous horse stall here. I love this. This is incredible. I like how she's used some white simple panels as well and not just brown. It looks amazing. And then she's incorporated some other pops of white throughout with the white rocking chair. 
Her design skills are seriously impeccable. And then she's used all these termite mounds as just kind of a natural barrier to the area as well. Wow. That is so cool. I love that. It really makes it feel like we are in a like giant rock formation or something. This is so gorgeous. Okay, so I am going to kind of come back here and go around to the right. Usually I go to the left first, but we'll just wander. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this blanket as well. And the way that she has placed down the switch, it just looks so good. The coral switch looks incredible on that blanket. And we have this cliff in the background, which is just amazing. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And then she's had her rocks spawning along the sides here. That takes some serious dedication. It seriously looks like she's definitely done that on purpose. And that's, that's just insane. So I recently worked on a rock garden on my island and it just takes so much effort. It's really, really not easy. So that's amazing. We have this little fenced off area that just kind of looks like a really natural desert landscape. I love the way that she's incorporated the fossils here. And then we have Poppy's house over here. Very, very natural decorating here. I love the white like doily rug pattern. That's super cute. And then Poppy has the coziest little beach area over here which is so perfect. I love that. I like how she has a lot of her flowers on the beach that are just flower buds and not full grown. It's really beautiful. So much time and detail. I love this little crack design here and she's incorporated lots of butterfly models in this particular section, which is just gorgeous. Oh, I love this. And this is actually her river mouth. Wow. I love that. So she just has this tiny little creek here which is amazing. I love that so much. It's such a good idea. I don't know why that's so amazing to me. <laughs> well, it is amazing, but I just feel like I haven't really seen that. Usually I see like a bridge or something at the river mouth, but just this little simple hop over I love so much. So we have a little sitting area here, a little puppy running in the desert. Love all of the stones on the beach. And then over here, I'm pretty sure this is Blair's house. Yeah, so over here we have Blair's house. I love how she's turned around the, um, I think this is just like a little flower arrangement, but it looks really pretty with the bow facing out and a little writing area for Blair, which is so cute. And this is the peninsula. Oh, we have a little movie area. Oh, I love this. And she's put out a little dream exchange ticket here, which the purple looks so good on this little section. This is adorable. I love the way that she's put the little like film reel on a cushion. It's just so cozy with all these termite mounds surrounding it. This is so, so inspiring. Definitely making me want to give this a try. We have a little dropped present here. That's super fun. Got lots of little presents throughout this tour. A yellow balloon. How cute. I probably won't carry it around just because I don't want to be distracting, but it is really cute. And I love all the wind turbines. Just a really simple decoration for the beach rocks, but it looks so incredible in the background. So we'll head up this incline here. Love the white incline as well. And then we have her house. I love how she has a pink house. That's so cute. And these pillows, like the custom design that she's put in these pillows, they're so chic. Like those are so modern looking, but they look incredible in this desert landscape. Absolutely incredible. And then this particular custom design, this like brick circle, it looks so muted and worn. I love this. It's so gorgeous. But let's go inside and explore her house since we're here. All right, so here we have her entryway. I love the wood walls here with all the lighter wood tones. This is just so cozy with the fireplace in the very center of the room. Definitely wouldn't think to do that, but I absolutely love this. We have that cute little hat on the wall. How adorable. I like how this particular wallpaper has the wooden blinds. It just looks so, so cute. And I guess we'll check out this back room next. All right, wow, this is amazing. So she has created this little porch area here. 
Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Just a little place to drink some cider. I just adore this. When you walk in and you view it from this angle, it's just so impactful. And I love how she's incorporated the purple mum in this room. This ties in so well with the rest of the island. I'm so impressed. All right, and then it looks like in this side room we have a little pottery studio, which I love. I was feeling really inspired to add in a pottery studio of some sort on um, my island because I really wanted to make my house into like a art conservatory of sorts and I just adore this. She's created a little storage area back here with some boxes which looks so cool. I love adding in those little realistic touches and she's even included a little like apron for the person to wear when they are... Um, I don't know what it's called actually curing the pottery like when it goes into the um, oven Does that mean to cure? I'm not sure probably getting that wrong, but the custom designs that she's using are so amazing I just I am just blown away just blown away All right, and on the other side we have this cozy little bathroom. I love the way that she has divided the room how adorable is this and then she's placed the lamps back there which really add a nice kind of glow love how she's put the bathrobe this is so cute little drop socks and little dropped sandals this just feels so elegant and cozy and relaxing and the rattan furniture looks so good in here as well so so cute all right so here we are in the basement i love this room I seriously am obsessed with this house. This is so gorgeous. I feel like it's very minimal and I love that about it. I'm definitely like super into this minimalist style in real life. And I don't know why when I start playing the game, I instantly like feel like I need to put items absolutely everywhere, but I just adore this. This is so, so cute. And then she's laid down some custom flooring on the porch, which just adds such a realistic little touch. This is just so cozy. All right, and then we have kind of a little eating area upstairs. Love that we've incorporated the pottery from that little pottery studio. And then she has another little porch outlook here. This is so cute. All of these like kind of mauve -y and light pink and white tones with this light wood, it all just goes together so, so well. It's absolutely stunning. I love that. And then the lighting in here, all of it is so perfect. Look at how she has, here like gotta go up again, how she's incorporated the lamps at the very top. You can't even really see them, but they just add such a beautiful effect with the lighting in this room. Definitely a lot of care has gone into this. All right, so we are gonna wander back here. Oh, we have Winnie. Oh, and we have, yeah, we better say hello. Hi, super cute. So we'll wander back here. We have, look at this canyon. How on earth did she get all of these termite mounds? Seriously, this is insane. We have this little lookout area here with the moon. It's incredible. I love that so much. And I like how she's kind of hollowed out the center and put the termite mounds there. Absolutely incredible. So, so cute. And it looks like people have kind of biked here to this little lookout spot. I just adore that. Winnie, I'm going to give you... Oh, I guess I don't have to give you a little push. But you can see the termite mounds are just kind of rendering. They're coming in. That's a lot for the game to handle, but it's so beautiful. So over here we have on her map, actually her custom map, she has included these little camera icons that indicate where there's a photo opportunity. And I just think that that's so incredible. It's really nice to be able to see where somebody intends for you to take a photo because definitely like, because I do feel like it's sometimes easy to miss these spots, especially um, as you're going through an island for the first time. So that's super, super helpful. Love the way that she's done the terraforming here. So we have a little circle cliff and then she surrounded it with the termite mounds, which just gives such a nice effect. I absolutely adore that. And we have a little bug here, super cute. And then down here, we are headed into Canyon Trail. Oh my gosh look at this and she's kind of continued that like little bit of a motif where the um sides of the cliff are a little bit winding um with the termite mounds in 
front. Oh my gosh, it's so incredible. And then over here is Kayak Point. Look at this custom design. Oh my goodness, I have never seen that custom design before. That is just incredible. With these little water splats. We have a wetsuit. I'm obsessed. This is such an amazing way to use your bigger beach racks. I just, wow, <laughs> that's so creative. I am just obsessed. All right, so over here we have another villager house. This villager house, this is Winnie's house. It just looks incredible in this landscape. I love the dark hunter green. I never realized that she had such a cute house. I love that. And then Winnie just has a little place to cook out here. We have a little brick oven. There's a little barbecue station over there. Just so, so cute. I love the balance of trees to just like desert landscape. It's so perfect. Definitely difficult to under to achieve as well. It's hard to, it's like, it's hard not to go overboard. But over here we have the pool. Oh my gosh wow seriously wow holy cow i love this the way that she's decorated this oh my gosh this little infinity pool so cool and then we have a little diving rules sign what oh my gosh wait a minute is this about to be a wetsuit so that i can dive off yes okay here we go that's so cute that's so fun what an a really fun and kind of like interactive touch that was so fun i loved that what a cute little detail let's take the wetsuit off we have such a cute little secret beach over here we're gonna have to go back over to the pool though in just a little bit and get a better look at that i didn't mean to get excited and dive off and miss any details <laughs> But I love Nook's Cranny over here. We have a little picnic spot. And then, of course, we're right next to Abel Sisters. It just gives it... This really gives me, like, saloon in the desert vibes for some reason. Like, just, just immaculate. I love it. Over here is marked by some simple music notes on her map. We have a little concert area. I love this. I love that she has water on her beach rocks. I just think it looks so beautiful when you have the bigger rocks like that. And just a cozy little place to sit and enjoy some music. Before I get too carried away here, I'm going to come back up this way. We do have another villager house here. Don't want to miss. So this is Chev's house. And I love the way that she's decorated Chev's house. Or Chevre. Chevre. I feel like I say her name a bit weird, but that's okay. I love this little sitting area here by the fire. We have some grapes set out here. And then let's go back up here really quick and check out the pool. We have some popsicles. Somebody better eat those really quickly. Seriously, I don't know how she got her hands on this many termite mounds. Oh my goodness. Insane levels of dedication. It's so beautiful though. It's really unlike anything I've ever seen in terms of... Um, island style or island aesthetic and it's just so well done look at this fossil here incredible it looks like a little desert lizard and I love this kind of purple design here as well and then we have Fauna's house I'm just gonna wait for everything to load here I love how simple Fauna's house is with this desert landscape on either side and I'm just really digging these clay tones as well it's really beautiful and over here is a little place to lay out and read on the beach which i love we have a little puppy a little switch so cute i love a good natural beach okay um maybe we'll come down this way so this is the canyon walkway we were just in the section on her map labeled dry desert wow these canyon walkways are these walkways that are just like surrounded by the um, termite mounds is so so cool but over here is the baby lookout little baby lookout I love it and we can just kind of overlook this area so cool I love the way that she's done the terraforming here 
It's seriously genius. I love it so much. It's so challenging to make landscapes like that in the game, I feel. It's really, really hard. Over here is a spa. This is gorgeous. Look at this. We have a little hot spring. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish we could just get into the outdoor bathtub. That would be awesome. Why can't we? Why can't we, Nintendo? Just let us, let us live. And then over here is the big lookout. Wow. I am speechless. This is so cool. This is so cool. Wow. Oh my goodness. What an amazing, amazing idea. Oh my gosh. And then over here, we just have very simple beach. I love it though. And then whose house is this on the beach? We've got a couple of cabins here. So we have Molly on the beach. And then next to Molly is Eric. That's super cute. I actually just put Molly and Eric right next to each other on my island. And we have another little present here. I love these hidden presents throughout the island. It's such a cute touch. There's been oh, some party poppers. There have been so many thoughtful touches on this island. <laughs> How cute. I love it. This little pier is really, really cute. I love the festival garlands, and I like that she's chosen the one that has a tiny little pop of purple, which just fits in with this theme so well. Got lots and lots of pillows here for Molly and Eric. They can be very cozy on the beach. And a little hangout spot. This backdrop to this area, wow. Oh my gosh. With the little termite mounds in between the trees, it's the perfect balance of bushes and flowers as well. So cool. We have some little dropped Polaroids. I am just in love. I love this little pathway here with these wood, um, like these little wood planks. It just looks so good with the dirt and I feel like that's a very realistic touch. But over here we have Blather's Tent and Blather's Tent is the visitor center, which is incredible. I love that for Blather's. That's such a cute idea and his tent just looks incredible with the rest of this landscape. So, so beautiful. I love this little natural creek that's winding through. There isn't a ton of water terraforming on this island, which would make sense because it's a desert, but there, you know, there are some oasis places and deserts, and this is just gorgeous. She's been really selective with where she's chosen to use the water, and it's so effective. It just looks so beautiful. And then we have another little viewing point here. I love the tiny bridge. It's such a cute little detail. I love the little bridges. They're really charming, actually. And then over here, we have the Glamp site. We'll do a little fancy camping here. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous with all of the flowers here. This is actually right next to the entrance where we came in. We just didn't come over to the side yet. This is so beautiful. And then we have the actual campsite over here on the beach, which makes perfect sense. I am in love. I am in love. So there is, um, there are a couple of little things here that I think that we just went off in a different direction, so we may have missed, but back here was the trailer park. How cute. What has she used behind these? Oh, just a little strip of cliff. So cute. And the, um, diner sofa, I think it's called the box sofa in front. So cute. I love these standees. And then she's used a ton of trees in the background, which makes it feel really, really natural. Really overgrown and foresty. I love that. The cedar trees seriously never look so good in an island. They just pop so much um, against this sort of like deserty feel. The green color just really, pop really pops. This is gorgeous. And then back here... I'm actually not sure, but this is, I'm not sure in terms of like where we are in the map. I think this is just a little transition leading to where the pool was at. But this is gorgeous. We have so much pottery here and this is going to lead to Dobie's cave. Oh my gosh. 
incredible. Dobie would be in a cave though, seriously. And his house, because it's so dark, really adds to that cave illusion. I love it. That is so cool. So I wanna quickly check out her custom designs here. All right, so she actually made a lot of the blanket patterns that we see, which is amazing. I thought they were so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This like um, cheetah pattern that she made, I just have no idea. And these very subtle whites, I love that. These two were my favorite, I think. But these are just absolutely gorgeous. And she's made a few outfits as well. This one looks so cute. And I actually think, oops, I clicked over. I actually think that these, this one might have been the one that she was wearing, which is so cute. But these ones are just amazing. Honestly, they're all amazing, but oh my gosh, I am just seriously blown away. All right, but that is going to take us to the end of this tour of Mia Canyon. I am just leaving feeling so inspired to create in a style like this. It's truly unlike anything I've ever seen before. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And thank you so much to Mia for allowing me to tour your gorgeous, gorgeous island. If you like Animal Crossing content like this, though, and you would like to see more, please do be sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. But thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!